Oh, hey. Oh, bye. Hello? Wait, you're exiled. Stop, you're under arrest. Welcome back. It's been grim here. We in the Survey Corps hardly even speak to one another lately. Really? But with you back, maybe Captain Silene's appetite for potato mochi will return? What? Anyway, wait here a minute, will you? I'll go and let the captain know you're back. I'm not supposed to be back, though, so, like, should you be telling her that? Oh, my dear Solo. The professor's been awfully worried about you, Solo. I hate this guy. Of course I was worried, but I don't think I could hold a candle to the distress you showed, Akari. That's blowing it out of proportion. I don't think it's appropriate for an adult to make things up just to hide their embarrassment. But, uh, where's the captain? Wasn't she coming along with you, Professor? She's buried under a mound of work, I'm afraid. We're to join her in the Survey Corps' office. It seems her hands are more than full now that Commander Kamado's gone. The Commander's gone. Well, he's set up for Mount Coronet with the Security Corps intel. He's determined to handle this whole space-time rift business himself, including dealing with the Pokémon that's been spotted on the other side. That's why I was filling in for the regular guards with Pikachu at the ready. Well, we aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head inside and report to the captain. Why am I here instead of going to Mount Coronet? So you managed to not die, just as I ordered. Well done. You're gonna get a promotion. I owe it to Ottoman. No doubt your own past deeds earned you any help you may have received. Before moving forward, I must ask, do you have any idea how I could style my hair better to not show this ridiculous forehead? I assume that you're here again because you've managed to learn something of use? Yeah, I got this red chain, which, like, gives me the power to, I don't know, control Pokemon God? Go on. A legendary tool said to bind the very world. Commander Kamado is no longer here in the village. The security corps had been scouting the area near the space-time rift, and they reported sightings of something on the other side of it. Something that resembled a Pokemon. The commander made the decision to take the security corps to the mountain so as to prepare to fend off any possible threat. They were to make for the temple at the peak. However strong the commander himself may be, he should have gotten so low to help. As the captain of the survey corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. Solo. Take that red chain to Mount Coronet, make your way to the peak, and put an end to all this. You're officially reinstated at your former rank. Atop Mount Coronet. Are you certain you can do that with the commander away, Captain? Who's gonna stop her? If he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, then he should not have left me in charge here. Yeah, like, hello? Idiot? Are you stupid? Why is everyone in this game stupid? Then I'll go as well. We're all in this together, we members of the Survey Corps. Naturally, no one suggested you should not. Oh, this is the perfect time to- WHAT?! Hey. You, uh... You come here often? Something the matter, Lucario? Who the heck are you? I'm Rai. Oh, thanks for answering. And you are? Oh, you're, um, you're, you're Riley. Uh, you're Riley's ancestor. Riley, the guy who gives you the Riolu egg in Diamond and Pearl. I knew I recognized this hairstyle. Okay, you're solo. Nice to meet you. What is it, Lucario? Seems Lucario sensed your strong aura, too. If you're willing to battle us, could you come to the training grounds? Steely Lucario. Yeah, I mean, like, I'll get on that eventually. I want to, like... I want better music back. <laughs> I, like, legitimately, all I want to do is to get the ambiance of the game back to being bearable. Yo, Ottoman. There you are, Solo. Irida's already headed to Mount Coronet. How are things looking here? The commander is already at Mount Coronet. 
He's already started up the mountain. He must be more reckless than that dignified manner of his lets on. Well, he's become a different character in the past hour and a half, so. Not that I can blame anyone for wanting to avoid wasting time. Well, all right then, guess I'm going after him. Let me go first, Solo. If you were to show up with no warning, there'd probably be a fight. Time's a wasting. see you there. Huh, who's the reckless one? Hello. Hey, you got run out of the village, right? But you still tried to find a way to help us all? That's right, Solo worked hard to get that red chain to help us. Too right, and a fine job he did too. The Survey Corps is always hard at work for the sake of everyone here in the village, as well as for the sake of our relations with Pokemon. Thanks, take this. Master Ball? Ah. Oh. Lame. Your orders are three. One, make for the summit camp, and from there, the Temple of Sinnoh. Two, use the red chain to resolve this mess. And three, return here alive. Four, question marks. Five, profit. Oh, not that idiot. Please kill that idiot. I've heard the latest, so you've been accepted back into the galaxy team, have you? I suppose congratulations are in order. Here, some max potions for me to celebrate. Well, thank you. It looks like the big moment is upon us at last, but no doubt it'll be fine. After all, you worked so hard to earn that red chain. Both Adam and Anirida have headed to the peak as well. My good friend Solo, I wish you great fortune in the battles to come. I would truly regret losing one of our most beloved and loyal customers. It seems Kamado intends to use the summit camp as a base of operations for this undertaking. As for me, I think I'll set up shop closer to the temple itself. Go away. Things certainly seem to have gotten out of hand. Why are you so tall? Well, if anything goes wrong, the Great Melee will be here for moral support at least. Wish I could chop your head off. Don't smile at that idiot. Why Why did you even have that moron talk to us? Alright, I'm just committed to, like, finishing the main story now, and then we can spend, like, four streams completing the Pokedex after that chat. So, to the peak we go! Spear Pillar, I'm on my way! That is a mad Electivire. Right, right. What's up, loser? 15 Ultra Balls? We should... I, I figure there's probably going to be a Legendary to catch of some kind, Arceus or otherwise, but I guess we'll see what happens. This is the Stone Portal. I've been told not to let anyone pass, but really, I'm not sure what the point is any longer. Think you could go ask for me? What a horrible, horrible employee. I like how it's called a Stone Portal when it's just a cave. Oh. Who are you? Are you the guy that gives us potato mochi? Oh, it's the symbols of the legendaries again. Why, hello there. Aha, uh -huh, still alive and kicking. It is this guy. Sorry about having to shutter the wallflower. I'd much rather be there now, serving up some freshly grilled potato mochi. But that Taskmaster Kamado's gone and left me to oversee our food supply. He always finds a way to put even these old bones to work. While I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time we get rid of you once and for all. You, uh, you serious right now, bro? Yo, someone's showing up and immediately putting spoilers in chat. Enjoy your timeout. It's it's so... I don't understand why it is so hard for people to read the stream title where it clearly says blind playthrough. It's, it's so very obvious. It's Pokemon fans, dude. It's always Pokemon fans. I'll make myself plain. As Kamado's right hand, I'm charged with executing all the gritty deeds Kamado Cantor won't do himself. What? 
I gave him my word I'd get rid of any fools that might dream of getting in the way of his plans. Is Kamado, like, the villain? Did they make Rowan the villain? Is that why he had such a ridiculous heel turn? And besides, it's not just Kamado who longs to live in a new home free of fear or strife. His dream is mine now, too. You've seen my smoke bombs before, right? Well, this is how you're meant to use them. What? When I heard you managed to quell those nobles one after another, oh, did it ever make my blood run hot and my heart pound? At last, one final opponent worthy of my great ninja techniques that have been left to molder all these long years. What is happening? This dude's got a Miss Magius. He's got the drip, I gotta admit. Gotta admit he's got the drip. Battle. All right, level 59 to 59 seems pretty, uh, pretty even. Good damage, good damage. Okay, yeah, good call, bro. You're so dumb. Agile style. Look at this giant land shark. It is so very agile. I think he will just die to Dragon Claw. Who even needs strong style? Miss Magius has made a paper. Oh no! Oh, that's not good. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're still in this. Don't immediately get a second turn. Let me iron head you. No! That's so upsetting. I had iron head for this exact moment. That's so upsetting. Does fairy resist bug? I think it does. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I just want to hit you physically hard. I think that's one of the things that I really don't like about how combat works in this game. Is that, um... There are very few fights in this game, like actual battles, so it normally doesn't matter. But it is annoying when... When your opponent sims in a Pokemon and then they just like get to have two turns to basically guaranteed kill you. It's kind of lame. Ew. Quick attack. As evidenced by that right there. Like that's really annoying. You're poison fighting, I believe. So like, this should obliterate you? Behold, my Gardevoir. Oh, you, you still get more turns, huh? Can, can I have a turn? That inflicts sleep? Apparently? Oh my goodness. Well, 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 if it isn't Pokemon being the worst design franchise in history. This has been a really fun, hey, you haven't gotten to have a turn for four turns right here. Air Slash! How dare you live. Did he get three turns in a row? Yes. He got three turns in a row and then hit me with sleep so that I skipped my turn and then got another turn. Yeah. Leave it to Nintendo to make the most poorly designed nonsense in history. Oh, hey, two turns in a row. What are the odds, dude? It's very fun game design that the way they decided to uh, make the fights difficult is just, well, what if the opponent got like eight turns in a row and you got like maybe one? That will be fun and enjoyable, right? Well, well by the way, the shading is super messed up on <laughs> Monferno right now, or uh, Infernape, I mean. Like, that'll be fun, right? If we do it that way, I think it will. Yeah, just give me a nasty plot, because I get two turns here. To be fair, there are moments like right now where I get two turns in a row, but I would rather it just, like, not work that way, though. All right, cool. 
I win. It seems my ninja techniques will soon be cons consigned, co-signed to history, words. Very good, young one, very good indeed. It's only a foolish ninja who tries to keep after a target they know they cannot beat. And to be honest, I don't hate you. Might actually like you after a fashion, at least for the skill you show in battle. But listen well, Solo, Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. Kamado and I saw our hometown burned to the ground by Madden Pokemon running amok. What? We lost plenty of friends and comrades that day. That's why Kamado came here to Hisui to try to build a new home where people could live free from fear. But to achieve something truly great, you sometimes have to take extreme actions. Has anyone in Nintendo ever he uh, heard of, like, build-up? Instead of just dropping everything in the last, like, 30 minutes of the game? Like, what do you mean Kamado is from a village that was raised to the ground by mad Pokemon? Hello? If, hypothetical as it may be, a Pokemon were to appear from within that space-time rift, Kamado might lose hold of his reason. Save Kamado from himself by forced if you must. Do that, and I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato mochi than a human stomach can handle. You're a freak, and I hope you have a heart attack on your way back down the mountain. Alright, so yeah, all of this stuff about Kamado is like 1,000% out of nowhere. Like, what the heck? I'm gonna go rest, by the way, to res all my Pokemon. Do, do, do. Actually, wait a minute. Don't I have to? Oh, no, they do have, like, an actual base set up here. There's also a side quest over here? Oh, my Pokemon got healed? Whoops, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, they did. How about that? Did it say that he healed my Pokemon, or did they just do it without telling me? We thought the buildup might distract from catching Pokemon. Nintendo is like, they're, they're special, man. It's the only company in the world that can like make such garbage decisions, but get away with it because of the stranglehold it has on everyone's childhood. Yep. Leave. Hello, I'm here now. Oh, hi. What's up, Volo? Well, this is it. Have you bought everything you need? You have 3k for a max revive. What the heck? You're gonna let me buy max revives? You know, I actually will take like 10 of these. Because I can only assume they're gonna give me an opportunity to catch a legendary Pokemon. Oh, there's Kamado up there. You brought the red chain? I sure have. Solo, you're the only one who can stop whatever is unfolding atop the mountain. That Pokemon that's apparently been sighted through the rift? I think it may be Almighty Sinnoh. But Commander Kamado stopped us from heading toward the temple. Why didn't you, like, punch him in the jaw? You have a leafy on. Shoot leaves at him. Alright. Hey, Kamado, you want to stop, like, being an entirely different character for a little while? Is he in armor? What are you wearing? You again. I've heard that this red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume that to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as it's meant to be. A welcome idea, but can I truly put my faith in such tales? Yeah, sure. What? Do you think even the red chain is some trick on Solo's part? He worked mightily to get that thing, and I should know. I was with him the whole time. I saw him rise to the trials set by the three Pokemon of the lakes. If he somehow concocted all of that on his own, then what hope do we have anyway? Perhaps you're right. 
But if I were to simply place my faith in this boy and that faith were to be betrayed, then how could I possibly face my people? Then work together with us. Should something go wrong, I'll take complete responsibility. Fine, enough. Let fate decide what happens next. Whichever of us is stronger will prevail. Face me with your Pokemon solo. Today we battle in earnest. <laughs> 